Hey guys, I'm Eric Aguilada, photographer, videographer, but I've been growing orchids for 10 years now. What you see around me, probably in the last two. It's been a rough winter and I lost one of my monsters. So today, welcome to episode one of the monster hunt. All right, guys, we made it. Here's the man himself, Antonio. Tony. Yo. How's it going, bro? Hey, hey, Eric, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, how are you today? Not bad, not bad, man. Awesome, man, we're getting ready for a big party out here at Manland. Happy Valentine's Day. I heard, I heard, but right now, brother, I am on the hunt for one thing, one of your monsters. I've been telling the people at home about all the monsters you got going on. Let's take a step back. You have quite a few monsters. And take a look at what I'm actually talking about. What's this one here? Like the first one hanging out at, what this is that? Is a, this is actually one of the very few things that is not a band in my collection. This is Dendrobium Superbum. So one of the Dendrobium family orchids, you can see it's loaded with little buds in about another three or four weeks. This will be covered with incredible dark pink flowers that smell like raspberries to me. It's a gorgeous orchid, very, very pretty. It looks like a waterfall. One of the neat things about this plant too, a lot of people don't realize, this thing grows beautiful big leaves all year long. And then at the end of December, the thing will lose all of its leaves. And then everybody says that their plant has died, but it hasn't died, it's just preparing to flower. An interesting thing about this plant is this is one of the few plants that there is a lot of conjecture over how to grow this plant proper. And I tell you what the problem is, is that you get people that have been listening to the same thing for a hundred years that don't realize that you can do something different. What everybody says with this is you need to dry it out. You basically need to torture this plant for a couple months out of the year to get it to flower properly. And I'm here to tell you, this plant gets watered every day. Right alongside my band, as you can see, it's flowering all the way up to the top of the canes. That right there is why I don't listen to what everybody says. I listen to what my brain tells me and what my plants tell me. I look forward to showing you this in full bloom and you'll see what I mean. Now this one right here, Tony, this is what you're known for right it, here. These are my, these are my babies. Yeah, look this is, this is a real this monster thing. here. Holy uh, shit. Holy. A, this is probably 125 pounds of air dwelling epiphyte. Tony, now you're just buying them from the dealer like that? They just come in like that? Oh, or? no, no, no. This is years and years and years in this nursery. This has been here for a very, very long time. I, I moved to this place in 2000 and, uh, 2010. So I would imagine this is probably one of the very first plants that I brought here in 2010 with me, and it was no different in size than the ones that you see over next year. You're That's, kidding me, these smaller ones? Houses. You're telling me that these small ones right here that you get in from Thailand. With proper care and knowing what you're doing, they'll easily get this big and then much bigger. This is a plant that's 10 years old. Imagine in another 10 years what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be twice as big. That is why I love this guy. He, he is the man. He is the orchid freaking genius. So again, that's what we're after. Some nice big, big monsters. We got a couple big ones. Tony, these plants are from where? Uh, these originate in Thailand. Uh, most of the breeding uh, that's done with Vandas is done in Thailand. There's a couple of places that you'll find uh, locally that'll do some breeding, but honestly, they really don't know what they're doing as far as what is, is considered important or um, popular in the orchid world. I like plants that I know people are gonna wanna buy. I'm not only a hobbyist in this business, but I'm also a businessman. This is how I make my living, so I've gotta sell things that people wanna buy, and I, I gotta you. sell things that I like also. I hear you. Real quick though, Eric, listen, I wanna give a shout out to my man. Rom Pom Hoon Yam in Thailand, AKA Cham Orchids, AKA Mr. X, AKA my brother. My brother in, uh, in Thailand, you're gonna meet him one day on this channel. He's a great guy, a fantastic breeder. This is one of his namesakes, Vanda Crew Cham Red Butterfly. And it that doesn't get much better dude, than dude. that. Let me get it in a better light. I'm back here. If you just point it right at me, I'll there we go. Right Bam, that thing my brother, is you large like. and in charge. Who would not like that? Mr. Chom, doing a hell of a job, my friend. Keep it up. This particular plant, when it was much smaller, was this big. Won the best big flowered Vanda at the Red, Redland Orchid Festival in 2015. You imagine the look on my face when next to me in the winter circle were the two biggest names and I was the one with the yellow ribbon. This really cemented the fact that I was gonna be a world-class grower. And this plant has grown 15 times bigger than what it was. And every time it flowers, it reminds me of what happens when you're dedicated and you're passionate about what it is that you do, that you can go from being somebody that nobody knows who they are to being the one that everybody wants to be. That's what I'm talking about, people. I told you, we're gonna find the best growers and the best people. We're not about 
you know, we're not about the attitude. We're not about any of that. It's not a, a private club that nobody can. We're just average people that freaking love plants, just like the rest of you. Just like the rest of you. That's where it all fact, started. I'm even more sick than the rest of you. Look at this. We've got people here today that have never seen a Vanda. We've got people here that have been growing for 20 years tenured. It takes all types. Welcome to the club. I hope you like what you see. Join us all the time here at Orchid Life and with my friend Tony from Vanda Maniacs. Go on Facebook, join Vanda Maniacs. Vanda Maniacs is seriously gonna be your best, best way to learn how to grow these, these orchids. We have a great time on that group and it's run by me, a professional grower. You're not gonna get somebody that's had uh, you know orchids for six weeks and read something on uh, online and have them tell you how to grow a Vanda. I'm gonna teach you how to grow a Vanda. With so much misinformation out there. Tons, that's all there is. When I, there. when I showed up, when I first met Tony, I had so much of that misinformation in my head. I wasn't growing well. I had stuff that I had bought at shows that I loved to buy that I watched. Some of it made it and I was, you know, happy, but it wasn't doing what I needed it to. I came in here, this guy freaking talked to me for an hour. My Set my job, head guys. straight. It's what I do. I want you to grow great Vandas and there's only one way to do it and that's for me to teach you. Now my wife goes out in the morning and finds random neighbors just in my yard checking out my flowers <laughs> that's a good thing hopefully <laughs> yeah they're good people so well, i'm okay with it right now Thank God. so enough of that let's go find my monster i've got one that i picked out it's a beautiful plant what's the name of it tony uh we were looking at uh delicious marmalade which is an orange one uh we were also looking at robert's like tour blue which if you remember earlier on in this uh in this video i showed you the real mega monster i have a mini monster of that plant that i have for sale today too another legacy plant plants probably 15 years old and it's ready to go out the door and we'll see how deep mr Iguala's pockets are today folks <laughs> i told you he can take it all right let's go check out the two he's talking about because i want to definitely pick one of them maybe you guys can help me out again if you're a grower if you're a professional or if you're just starting maybe maybe you have a monster orchid yourself that your grandfather gave you i want to see it drop us a line below let us know your comments Push that like button and subscribe yeah. to our channel please i want to see it i want you to be part of the community let's hang out let's grow together before we go showing you your cool stuff eric get over here it's what? the good the bad and the ugly in your world right let's but see what you got let's talk about the good first because i like the good Look that's at this conference gold. gold right there isn't conference it? gold this plant came out of the 2012 world orchid conference display where it was best at yellow ascosenda in show now i have one of these and that thing blooms all the, all time. the time all the time and it is just this pumping is stuff out this is the good guys look we got plants with all their leaves on it see here's another one not quite so big but check it out you want to have vandas that have all their leaves on it having all their leaves is indicative that this plant has never had stress right down to the roots right down right? to the roots that's right yeah look at those nice roots. healthy root tips growing big bouncing root systems not only am i famous for my flowers but i'm famous for my root blame it on my roots but that's what you want to see guys look plants with all their leaves on it all right that means it's a healthy vanda if somebody's trying to sell you a vanda that's missing half of its leaves they're selling you a piece of garbage plain and simple let's go see some of the not so good or we'll call it the bad and i'm gonna show you what i do with the bad folks why is this bad what do you notice after what i just told you you see how this thing has barely got any leaves left i know some people that would sell this with a fully good plant they'd put it in a box and be happy smile and take your money not me i'll show you exactly what i do with that take this here plant I'll do this to it Cut it. Good night, sweet prince. You live the good life. That's where stuff like that goes, right in the garbage. At the bottom of the garbage so nobody sees it from you. Now look, what was once a hanging, had a half dead looking plant already, nice and healthy. This plant just thanked me for doing that to it. Now that's the bad. Now you wanna see the ugly. This is when you're really in trouble here. The only reason I have this plant here is because this is the first orchid that I ever bought. I have learned so much from this particular plant that I could never, ever, ever throw it away. But you can see it's got a disease called Fusarium wilt. Most of the Vandas that you see that are doing this has got that particular problem. Almost all the Vandas have it inside their, their, uh, their, their, um, their fiber of their being, so to speak, to be able to get it. It's just some plants express it a little bit more than others, but I could never throw this thing out. You see, it still keeps on trying to throw roots, but this is just, it's not a, I mean, it's not unhealthy, it's just unhappy, you know? And if I loved it, maybe I'd put it out of its misery, but I want to hold on to it just a little while longer. 
it sits up here in the front of the greenhouse that I hang out in with the most. So I'm always able to come in here and enjoy it, look at it and remember all the things that I did good, bad and ugly to these vans over the course of the last 22 years here at R&R Orchids. This is a really cool orchid here, folks. This was given to me by a friend of mine in Hawaii. He came over to Florida one day and I hooked him up with, a, with an orchid for a show. And six months later, I got this beauty in the mail, if you can imagine that. Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis, aka the stinkiest orchid on the planet. It is the stinkiest. This sucker of the will clear the greenhouses when it's in flower, which is generally in May. I have not yet to flower it myself, but I'm looking forward to it. For me, buying something in bloom doesn't do anything for me. I like to have it and grow the thing and, and enjoy it. When I bought, when I got it from the gentleman, it had two leaves on it. And now you can see it's got five, one, two, three, four, five, six leaves on it. This is another little baby that was given to me by a good friend of mine that I'm happy to be growing right alongside of this. But this flower has been described of having the stench of a thousand rotting elephants is what this flower is. Uh, and really, really a cool plant to have in your collection. Pretty hard to find, uh, you know, pretty expensive, but uh, attainable if you buy it from a small enough size plant. Grow yourself. Awesome. All right, speaking of monsters, it looks like we got another one right here. Let's check him out. This is a pity chow mix. Okay. He's up name? for adoption. I don't know, but I'm calling him beautiful. He's up for adoption? He is. You can go to Big Dog Ranch. Big Dog Ranch. Fill an application. And you're good to go. So many babies need a home. Give us a call. Leave us a comment on the comments. And we'll get you in touch. Please. Thank you. This is a pretty neat orchid too, and you're lucky to be able to see it all in flower at this moment. This is a vandaceous plant, which means it's a relative of the vanda. It's not a vanda, but it's a vandaceous it's plant. It's called Trichoglottis wenzelii. Yeah, like in 2015, my first and only orchid show that I ever did and judged and got entered in with displays, I took this plant out and won literally one of the highest orchid awards there is to win for the grower. It's called a Certificate of Cultural Excellence, or a CCE, and this particular plant scored a 97 point certificate of cultural excellence which means i grew this thing better than 97 percent of anybody who's ever brought it to judging has ever grown it before if i remember correctly it had something like six thousand flowers on it oh my god uh, it was ridiculous and the crazy thing is the aos judges there was four of them there they split it into quadrants in order to count all the buds and the flowers on it it's pretty much fully blooming right now uh it was down to the floor uh at this time of the year i'll come in and make some cuttings of this plant so I can offer it for sale on my website, thevandaman.com. That's thevandaman.com where you'll be able to see all of this stuff loaded up onto a website so you can purchase. And also I cut them off for my party people, which is what we're doing today. We've got an event going on here. We'll call it our Tunnels of Love. It's our Valentine's Day event. The fourth annual one takes place every February right around Cupid's Day. How many plants you got here? God only knows, man. According to my inventory, I think it was around 25,000. All right, so let's go check out the one you were showing me. Check this one out. I, I love this one, marmalade orange. Oh, the beauty this of this called plant. Delicious marmalade. It's just a cool growing plant. It needs to be out in some more brighter light, and it's really, like I said, it's winter time I, I got here it. in the northern hemisphere. But this will just be a wash with beautiful, deep marmalade color orange flowers. It's got a really neat growth habit to it where the leaves kind of swoop down almost like bat wings on it. You can tell these plants have all their leaves too. This is what they call in the Vanda world a specimen. About how old is this one, you think? Uh, I got that plant in 2012. Uh, as a single plant, like a very small plant, this variety is a more compact grower uh, owing to its Ascosenda heritage. So it's not gonna grow as large, although you can see it makes nice little colonies or, or clumps or specimens, like they call it in the orchid. And what's that other one you were gonna show me? It's this one uh, or the other one? The one that's right up front. Let's here. check it out. Come with me, guys. Here we got the last Robert's Delight Tour Blue. The last Robert's Delight. This, this is a legacy plant, folks. This one's been around since almost since the millennium. It was bred by Mr. Bob Fuchs down in Homestead, Florida. Great guy. I like him a lot. And he's a very knowledgeable and, and very highly awarded and decorated bandit grower. Uh, give him some props. Come on, yeah. I made up my mind. I love this plant. It'll come home with me one day, but not today. I'm gonna get the other one. All right, the hunt is over, my friends. We got it. This is my baby monster. She's coming home with me. She's gonna make it, hopefully, for the next 20 years or so. Hey, mom, I could do the like Indian that. headdress like that. This is how we do it, man. Vandaland style, folks. R and R orchids. Locks of floor. Be the monster. Here with my buddy Tony. Come here, Tony. I love this dude. Honestly, Vandamaniacs. All of us my here. Buddy. We're a big happy family. Come join us. Come check us out. Drop us a line. You want us to come visit you? 
Drop us another line, we'll come out and check you out. Make sure you push that like button and subscribe to the channel, guys. We're gonna go party. Have a great day. Happy Valentine's Day.